Hey there and welcome to our channel. In this video, we will be providing you with a mule management guide. Hope this guide will enable you to be more effective in Fallout 76. So, what are mules? Mules are almost unplayable characters which only provide means of helping you to carry extra stuff which would otherwise overburden your main character. Bethesda has given you up to 5 character slots, and we recommend them to be minimally level 50 to 60 or so, before they can fully function as a mule. You can use your mules to store anything that is droppable which you do not want your main character to carry. This would range from weapons, armors, apparels, food, drinks, aids, ammunition and even junk. As seen in this video, the more stuff you store on your mules, the harder it would be to navigate in the inventory due to lag. If you do not have Fallout first, you can use your mules as your Fallout first scrap box to store all your junk. Currently, what you are viewing is one of my mules who specializes in carrying ammunition. Hence, it is carrying 1582 plasma cores. In terms of mutations, Mules are best to be carnivores as they gain the most from pepperoni roll which gives you a boost of 60 carry weight. Speed Demon benefits you as you will move faster since you will always be overweight and unable to run. Staying well fed gives you that boost in strength too. In terms of armor, you will definitely want a full set of unyielding weapon weight reduction. Although, it is capped at 90%. It will drastically reduce the weight of every weapon you carry. Find armor pieces which can be modified to deep pocketed. Big Wave once informed me that there are some armor pieces which do not have deep pocketed mods. Under armors play a significant role too. The best under armor which help to boost carry weight is the secret service under armor that adds 4 strength. This is attainable with gold bullion. Next, is getting your hands on a good backpack. Source around for a high capacity backpack mod which essentially gives you up to 120 carry weight if you finish the tadpole and possum challenges. Well, if you don't have that time to invest, then 90 carry weight is the best you can get from a high capacity backpack. Let us now look at the perk cards. You would have already guessed it by now. You would need to have all the weight reduction perk cards. Just now, you saw our carry weight was 1698, and once we remove those weight reduction perk cards, our true carry weight is actually 8071. This is a drastic 80% reduction in weight. We recommend these stats for your mules. 15 points in strength. 1 point in perception, 11 points in endurance, 15 charisma, 7 intelligence, 9 agility and 9 luck. Most of the needed weight reduction perk cards can be found in strength, intelligence, and agility. If you are storing ammo on your mule, you will definitely need Bandolia and Ordnance Express. If you are not storing junk on your mule, you do not need Pack Rat. Other essential perk cards include Bear Arms, Martial Artist, Traveling Pharmacy. You could also consider Sturdy Frame and Scatter Shot which would help you reduce the weight of armors and shotguns respectively. Under Intelligence, you will definitely need to batteries included to reduce the weight of plasma cores for your ammo mules, and portable power for heavy power armor pieces. Packing light is one of the new considerations as it reduces the weight of pistols by up to 75%. If you have a food mule, you would need True Hiker. One fine print to take note of is there is actually a limit to how much your mules can carry. It is plus 1500 from your denominator. Hence, if our carry weight is 485, we can only carry up to 1985. If you try to pick up or drop anything after exceeding your carry weight, you will be prompt a few error messages indicating your inability to carry more. Hence, 
it is vital to invest heavily on building the denominator of your mule's carry weight. The unyielding effect will cause our carry weight to increase from 485 to 560. In other words, a higher denominator carry weight will enable you to have more numerator carry weight, which we mentioned was plus 1500 more. Perception is not needed for mules since you should never be in combat. Since you are storing junk, in an unyielding build, it is vital to have more endurance. A particular perk card called Radical gives you plus 5 to strength, hence giving more denominator carry weight. Charisma should be max at 15 because you would want to have the best prices in vendors. Each day, your mules get 1400 caps. Hence your account can hold up to 200,000 caps. Hard bargain is also essential too. Intelligence should be minimally at 6 since you are not intending to level up anymore, and you require only batteries included and portable power. Agility is most optimal at 9 for faster AP regeneration, packing light and true hiker. Since you have mutations, it is important to preserve them. Hence, the need for class freak, starch, genes and serendipity for unyielding builds. Good with salt is mainly required so that the food you transfer from your mane to your mules do not spoil so easily. You would require them to sell to the vendors in exchange for caps. Next. The legendary perks that you require are Charisma, Strength, Luck, Intelligence, Survival Shortcut and Agility. Survival Shortcut is probably useful for mules since this can keep your mules well fed. Strength is one of the vital legendary perk to have, so as to maximize your denominator carry weight. Perk coins can be obtained from perk card packs and from the scoreboard. Pro tip is to always transfer perk cards and perk coins earned from the scoreboard to your mules. Your main character can easily get perk cards from leveling up. As you have seen from our Twitch streams, our mules are all dressed differently to distinguish their specialization. We advise for you to have a junk mule if you do not have Fallout first. A food mule is optional if you do not run food buffs. Ammo mules help you to carry all types of ammo and you can retrieve ammo for any weapon at any time. Once again, mule management is a highly creative aspect in the game. Mules provide the most car eye weight of up to 16,000 pounds. There are no more worries of being overweight in game anymore. Perhaps, a bit more advanced tips now would be to have a simple excel sheet of your mules carry weights. In that way, you can closely monitor them offline without logging into the character. As we mentioned, transfer all your scoreboard achievements to your mules instead of your main. Always borrow your friend's private server to transfer items. Lastly, carry only what you need for the session that you are playing. We recommend 30 stim packs. 30 radians away, 30 purified water, less than 10,000 ammunition for your primary weapons. Mule management is an added value to your gameplay experience especially when you feel that you are constantly overweight in game. We hope you find this guide of use to you. Please share more ideas on mule management in the comments section below. Well, Almost near the end of this video, we hope you have enjoyed and we look forward to your future viewership. Remember to like, comment and join our Discord for more Fallout content. You can also support us on Twitch as we stream regularly.